What up guys, welcome to the second episode of my Virago Tips and Tricks mini-series. Now this series is to associate with my larger videos, which are my rotational guides. However, I thought it's Green Bomb Week this week, so this guide is for any of you guys out there who are going to venture out to five man on the Green Bomb rotation. Okay, so this is focused on phase three, four, and a bit of phase five. So phase three, make sure the mage bomb tank has got Virago voked upon him or her. That means the melee or mage base tank can actually focus on DPS with the other DPSs. Now, as you can see here, after the reflect, what I'll do is I'll berserk. If you're the mage bomb tank, you should make sure you have sunshine on the ready. You could use it earlier if you wish to do so. Now, make sure you're always in a square of four people. You need four people to actually, so the, for the, so the green bomb can actually alternate between you all. Now, as you saw there, I've berserked and the green bomb is not on me, so that's good. So I can keep on hitting those abilities until the green bomb goes towards me. It'll hit the first person. Person. The first person will then go out of the square, then it'll hit the second person, which in this case was me, and then I will move out the square. You then leave two DPSs within that mage DPS square, and the green bomb will alternate between them until it disappears. Remember the last green bomb hit does not hit at all, so you as the melee or mage base tank can make your way back into the square. So I hope you understood that, I will re-go over it now and slow down this phase. Also, one thing to note, if this gets messed up in any way or if one person is by themselves and isolated, then the green bomb can hit up to 10k. Now, the tip here, guys, for anyone who doesn't know, obviously in 5-man, the major or melee base tank does need to be in the square, and that's why this tips and tricks guide basically has been launched. If you have a bigger team, the melee or mage base tank can literally just basically vote Virago onto him or her, um, and obviously tank it. But again, it helps to have the mage bomb tank uh, voking Virago, mainly due to the fact of DPS, so it allows that extra person to do that DPS whilst the mage bomb tank just takes Virago, because at the end of the day, if you've got a decent bomb tank you can use that defense formula effectively then it'll be absolutely fine and then that that dps then can focus on berserking or sunshining and it just gives that extra bit of damage uh, for your team to speed up phase three which is definitely of paramount importance on this rotation this tactic in terms of mage bomb tank voking virago onto him or her on phase three works on every rotation as well pretty much except for obviously the scopulous rotation okay so onto phase four you can basically on phase four just have one person who tanks the green bomb so whoever gets the green bomb first run towards that one person you can also right click uh, if you go on your friends list you can actually trail that person to make it easier for you to find him or her but it should be easy anyway then just get the melee or mage bomb tank just to barricade and heal up that person and everybody else and then you sorted because otherwise if you have that square again on phase four it's it really is messy because you've got all the voking and you've got the minions which spawn straight after the waterfall so it just messed things up quite a lot so just use that method really i'd advise on phase four have one person make sure has uh, 10k life points or above and then just get the melee mage uh, base tank just to barricade and heal that person and everybody else in the process now it does help if you actually heal that person who tanked the green bomb, I obviously uh, misclicked uh, as I got the Voke onto me. Also, it helps if you resonance uh, when you escape out after the second um, Voke, after taking the second stomp. So any of you pros out there would have noticed me do those, a couple of errors there. Uh, but again, just make sure you have one person who tanks that green bomb on phase 4. Okay, so to slow this right down, as you'll start off on phase 5, it's pretty simple once you get your head around it, however it can be a bit confusing when everyone's running around like crazy, and it does look a bit messy, uh, but there is a concept behind it. So as the melee or mage base tank, obviously you stand north within melee distance of Virago, which is me in this situation. Virago will spawn a green bomb straight away at the start of phase 5. Whoever that green bomb goes on will get a message appear, which you'll see a prime example here where I get the message. And it shows that Virago has sent a green bomb after you and it shouts you to run. Don't run anywhere, okay? Get your, one of your teammates in the crowd to come and run over to you to take that damage with you and you'll both get hit 1k each. Then that person who's run over to you should run back into the crowd of DPSs where it'll, it'll switch onto a different person. Then, as you'll see, that DPS who first ran to me will run back to me because he does not want to be damaged twice. Now, whilst this is all going on, there is a reflect. Uh, about five, six hits, I'd say, maybe a bit more after the first green bomb is launched at the start of this phase. Now, just be careful there. Once the green bomb is over in that crowd, it'll just alternate between them, and then everybody's safe. Now, there is a couple of different examples of this. It can even go on the mage bomb tank at first, and then it can go on a DPS instead. So I'll show you a couple of examples and how you need to counteract it. 
Okay, so the other scenario which you can get a DPS can get the green bomb. So therefore the DPS will go into the base tank and the base tank will then run into the crowd of DPSs and then the base tank will run back to its original position and then the green bomb will alternate between the DPSs. And that's how you uh, get rid of that scenario. Now on to the other scenario where the, uh, the mage bomb tank can also get the green bomb. Now you're probably wondering what you need to do if you don't know already. Well, here you go. This is going to guide you through it. Okay, so if the tank gets the green bomb, which Jack of the One does in this situation, then a DPS needs to run towards the tank, and the tank will take the 1k hit with a DPS. Now what will happen is that green bomb will then follow the DPS after that first hit. The DPS runs into the base tank, which is me in this situation, and then the base tank runs into the crowd of DPSs, runs back to his original position after that hit, and the green bomb will alternate between the DPS until it disappears. And then the DPS underneath, underneath me will obviously make their way back to the crowd. Now, that's how you uh, resolve all of those different scenarios which can happen. There are no other scenarios which can possibly happen. So this should help you with any uh, green bomb kill which you come across. I hope you enjoyed this guide. Remember that the green bomb, it can only hit you twice. And that means if it follows you twice and hits you twice, that's the maximum it can hit you. Otherwise, you will get KO'd with a 10k hit. So I'll see you in my next Virago Tips and Tricks guide coming out probably within a week. Uh, have a great week guys, take care and good luck with your five-man kills if you do venture out there to attempt it. All the best, take care, bye.